Today's topic is pericardial tamponade. Pericardial tamponade, also known as cardiac tamponade, is a life-threatening medical condition that arises when blood or fluid builds up and fills the space between the double wall sac around the heart, pericardium, placing extreme strain on the heart, thereby resulting in contraction of the heart. As the fluid presses on the heart, the heart is unable to pump enough blood to the rest of the body. The lack of blood to the heart and the rest of the body can eventually cause shock, organ failure, and cardiac arrest. Causes Pericardial penetration or fluid accumulation causes might include excessive pericardial fluid, gunshot or stab wounds, a wound or rupture to the heart, blunt trauma to the chest from a car accident, cancer that has spread to the pericardial sac, such as breast or lung cancer, and inflammation of the pericardium, lupus, an inflammatory disease in which the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues, high levels of radiation to the chest, a heart attack, kidney failure, infections that affect the heart. Signs and symptoms. Pericardial tamponade has the following symptoms. Anxiety and restlessness, low blood pressure, weakness, chest pain radiating to your neck, shoulders, or back, trouble breathing or taking deep breaths, rapid breathing, discomfort that is relieved by sitting or leaning forward, fainting, dizziness, and loss of consciousness. Diagnosis. Pericardial tamponade often come with three signs that are easily recognizable by a doctor. These signs are known as Beck's triad. They include abnormal low blood pressure, and weak pulse due to reduction of the level of blood the heart is pumping, elongated neck veins as they are having trouble returning blood to the heart, a rapid heartbeat combined with muffled heart rhythm because of the expansion of the layer of fluid in the pericardium. To be certain, further tests might be conducted by the doctor. One such test is an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound to examine the structure and functioning of the heart for abnormalities. The result may show an extended, globe-shaped heart if there is presence of pericardial tamponade. Other diagnostic tests may include an electrocardiogram to assess the heart rhythm, a thoracic CT scan to check for fluid accumulation in the chest or changes to the heart, a magnetic resonance angiogram to visualize the blood vessel. Treatment. Pericardial tamponade is life-threatening and requires hospitalization. The main purpose of treatment is to 1. Relieve tension of the heart, and 2. To treat the underlying condition. The fluid in the pericardial sac is drained, typically with a needle. This procedure is called pericardiosynthesis. The doctor may then perform a more invasive procedure called a thoracotomy to drain blood or remove blood clots if there is a penetrating wound. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.